Hey, welcome to our episode of Cider Saturday with me, Chad, of Chad's Beer Reviews. And we got a pretty classic, um, ubiquitous cider tonight. This was kind of like the Guinness of ciders. Strongbow Hard Ciders. Shouldn't it just be Hard Cider? Original Dry, 5% ABV, 500 ml bottle, traditional English hard cider from HP Bulmer, number one hard cider brand in the world. I love how it says made from a majority of ripe cider, ripe cider apples. So that means some of it is like not ripe. And this was good until January of next year, so it's fairly fresh. All right, so I pour it into the Spiegel lager glass. And I mean, it kind of looks like a lager. It's got that kind of gold, amber. Actually, eh, I don't know, it kind of walks that line between gold and amber. Very clear. It's got a little bit of carbonation. And like you can, actually, when I poured it, it did hold a head. And it's still holding something of a head. Uh, let's give this thing a whiff. Smells like apple juice. <laughs> Very apple-y. Um, but it doesn't smell like... It obviously doesn't smell sweet. I mean, it's a, it's like the dry cider. Um, I can tell like it has like a little bit of a sulfite-y kind of quality to it, or a tannic quality, something like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, it mostly smells like apple juice, but you can tell like that obviously it's hard. It's not you know, your kid's apple juice off the grocery store shelf. So let's see what we're in for here. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. What's interesting about this cider is that it starts out like immediately like that. Like I get like a little bit of a tartness, I think, which is to me, it's kind of a sulfite thing. By the way, it does say, on the ingredients here, it does say um, hard cider, water, sugar, malic acid. That would probably account for it, because like, that's what they use for like making sour candies and stuff like that. Color and sulfite, lightly carbonated. So, I mean, malic acid and sulfites would make it a little bit tart, a little... I mean, I wouldn't call it sour, but yeah, um, a little sulfite -y. Yeah, so tart up front. I mean, it's dry, yes, but it's not like bone dry. When I think like bone dry, I think like a brute champagne or something like that. I'm not getting on this one. In fact, I would say this actually finishes rather juicy. It's like it's kind of dry up front. And then as it's going down, it starts to actually sweeten a little and gets like kind of like a real like apple juice kind of flavor to it. Um, Again, I'm not like such an apple or cider expert that I can say, oh, it's this, you know, variety of apples or whatever um i mean if i had to guess i think it'd be some kind of red apple but like something in the tart like pink lady or i don't know i, I don't know apple sorry yeah i mean i would say i like this taste but i don't love it like there's nothing that's the thing about when like when you're just a standard dry cider like no frills even though like this is probably you know Technically, like, one of the best in its class, if we were going to judge it to spec. By the way, I am studying to become a cider judge. Like, you know, if I'm judging this to spec, like, it's going to score really high. Does that mean I love it? Not really. But, I mean, I don't dislike it. By the way, this is a, a cider that they use for uh, Guinness um, parfaits all the time. You do this. Actually, this is, like, pretty much the perfect amount right there. And then top that off with Guinness, and you've got a... I think they call it a snake bite or spider bite. I can't remember snake or spider. Let me know in the comments. Yeah. I've always said, you know, I really am not crazy about like super sulfite forward ciders. And a lot of um, wine has sulfites in them as well. And like a really tannic kind of quality. Maybe I wouldn't go like this one. It's there, but it's a, I'd say it's like restrained. I don't know if it goes far to say subtle. But it's just like, it's not distracting. It's not annoying. Like the vast majority of what I'm tasting here is like the actual cider. By the way, the mouthfeel on this is, I mean, I probably put about like medium, maybe a little over medium, but uh, it's not super highly carbonated. I mean, you can just see, you can actually count, you know, you can count the carbonation bubbles because like they're just so slow and so one at a time, you know, it's not like, you know, um, Bud Light, where there's just tens of millions of, of bubbles. 
you know, it's a nice crisp finish. It has a little bit, I mean, a little bit of a sulfite slash apple aftertaste. Uh, but I, like I said, it's refreshing once in the mouth. This is a good cider to have with food, especially like salty food or something like that, bar food. Um, but yeah, and it's really easy to drink. So yeah, I like it. I'm going to give an 8 out of 10 to the Strongbow Original Dry. <clears throat> I mean, you might say like this is like the, I guess you could probably say this is like the Bud Light or Budweiser of ciders. But like I said, from a technical point of view, like they're doing it right. And, you know, like there's nothing off-putting about it, but there's nothing really exciting about it either. So, yeah, I think 8 out of 10 for Strongbow is fair. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you for regular old Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.